Hi, I'm Gary Brantner of Renner Studios Comics, and this is the show where I review comics and talk about the things that I have read, things I am backing on Kickstarter, all that fun stuff, whatever is going on in my world of comic books. Um, this is my basement. For now, it's my office. Um, it's a kind of a mess right now, because right now I'm in the middle of transferring to an actual office and setting that up, because this, all this right here is going to be a living room soon, and... So, yeah, I forgot where I'm going with that, but let's get on with the uh, comics part of that. So, recently I just got in my mailbox a comic called Destiny New York Short Stories. And uh, this is from Pat Shand, the Destiny New York uh, universe. Um, as you may know, it's a series that I am very much in loving. And uh, so, yeah, Pat Shand sent me this a long time ago uh, I think I backed it a year or so ago it got lost in the mail so Pat Shand was awesome enough to send me Destiny New York short stories again so this is going in my read pile soon thank you uh, I ho hope you, uh, word gets to you that I got it and received it so now I'm going to talk about the things I've read Renton Arb Studios comics reviews what I recently read is a story called Villainous. Let's see here. Villainous number one. Uh, I read it digital digitally. It is by Stony Williams. That's the writer. Artist Jeff Sedzinski. Ah, let me start over on that one. Jeff said said okay. <laughs> Jeff Sedzinski and colorist Joanna Laflant. Lafont. Anyway, uh, there's. Let's see. Let it focus. Nope. I guess it's not going to focus. Anyway, uh, it is a story about a little girl named Reptili. Well, they co her code name's Reptili, and uh, that's what a page looks like. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Awesome art. Um, basically, Reptili is a girl who looks like a snake, and uh, she joins as an intern. Uh, this or as a sidekick, basically, apprentice to a superhero who's kind of big stuff in this world. And uh, on her first day, she's just doing random tasks, taking his superhero suit to dry cleaning, all that fun stuff. And then uh, she finds out nefarious things are going on. And uh, I don't know what to say that'll not spoil the story for you, but I liked it so much that uh, I told my local comic shop, Gamers Asylum, in Ogden, Utah, to uh, start the hold on the physical copies. So I really want to know what happens in issue two, find out if she uh, get, gets out of this situation of hers, and uh, what goes on with it. I, I really like the art, the colors are awesome, um, the writing's awesome, so it's, it's going to be cool to see what goes on in that story here on out. So that's my review for Villainous, number one. And uh, I found that one on Instagram, or not Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, Stony Williams uh, sent out a tweet about wanting it to be reviewed and stuff, I think. Or maybe it was Jeff. Uh, somebody on that team sent out a shout out saying they wanted to know who would review it and that's my review and now they got a customer uh, can't wait to uh, see how that goes see what the physical copy looks like that'll be cool so if you get a chance check out uh, Villainous find it on Twitter and uh, yeah see for yourself what's going on next up on my reviews is a comic I really like. It is called La Fay. I got a whole bunch of uh, trading cards in with this comic. And bookmarks. And some awesome prints. One with a lot of holofoil embossing on it. So when I get my office, all these are going to be up on the back wall. All my prints and stuff from Kickstarter backings will go up on that wall. So that'll be a cool way to do it. And so anyway, Le Fay number two. I should have read this sooner, but uh, I kind of got bogged down on time with things. Uh, 
the Kickstarter for Le Fay 3 it just recently ended so I missed the boat on advertising for them sorry guys uh, I I shared it a lot though on Twitter so hopefully that helps so Le Fay 2 it's written by uh, Marcel Dupree and Joshua Metzger they do an awesome job on writing the art is by Miguel Angel Ruiz Ruiz the colors are by Vittorio Astone, and the letters are by Marcelo Della Verde. This is from No Sleep Comics, and, oh man, I can never pronounce that, but it's Evoluzine, Evolude, Evoluzine Publishing. Anyway, they're the same people that make uh, Love University, and they make Le Fay, and I think there's a couple other things I've backed that they make um, Battle World or something like that Battle Planet I can't remember I just backed it and it just closed it's but it, over there they make some good stuff I uh, love University is pretty good good anyway Le Fay is the story of uh, Morgan Le Fay and she had her power stripped by the uh, sorcerer Imp um, Merlin as you may know from uh, Merlin uh, King Arthur and his magical sword thing. Anyway, their tagline is, what if uh, Jessica Jones was a fairy sorceress who was stripped by her power? So that's what this is bas basically about. Is uh, Ooh, i got to be careful when I show you that page is not very clean. So as you know, um, this is not a safe for work. Uh, comic. It is not for kids. There is some risque stuff going on, some adult themes, and uh, just like Jessica, Jessica Jones, um, it is not meant for kids. But it is a very good story. They do some awesome, awesome stuff in this story. I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but there is a griffin on this page. That is very cool. Uh, they go to a a sanctuary for animals that have been bought, but then later discarded. Basically like a uh, Lion King or not a, a, the Tiger King kind of thing going on Carol Baskin and all that weirdness but less weird because I don't know these are uh, mythical creatures being kept in this place so Morgan Le Fay is on the case trying to find out uh, who killed she's indentured to these three that uh, woke her from a 200 plus year slumber uh, so she has to go out on cases for these guys and basically one of these ladies which is uh, relatives got killed and so she's on the case to find out why they were uh, some kind of mythical monkey smugglers and so um, she's on the case to try and find out who killed these aunt and uncle of this lady and uh, it leads her to this animal sanctuary. Basically, there's some kind of weird blobby dragon thing that uh, got smuggled into the existence. And uh, this Jack the Ripper guy is the culprit. He's got it right now, holding it for ransom. And Merlin is actually trying to get it back. He's the one that hired Jack the Ripper. So, let's see. Those are my two reviews. The review side is over. Now what's going on in my life? Um, so yeah, I'm currently in the process of getting this transferred up to my office. I have uh, Kickstarter rewards to send out. I have all the supplies that I need now, and all the all the things that I need to send out are here for me. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the next week or so. So I can't wait to uh, get Kickstarter rewards, comics, and pins. That's what the Kickstarter is for, is the pins sent out to people. And um, what else is going on? Oh yeah, I just recently sold two of my Redbubble shirts. Let's see, is that going to focus or not? There it is. It's a Shut Your Face shirt. It's something I say a lot. I just added it. I markered it up and added it onto my designs. It is a funny shirt. I bought one for myself. Um, Redbubble makes good shirts. This Spider-Man 2099 shirt came from Redbubble. So if you want to check out my shirts, 
like the two people that bought my Shut Your Face shirt. Do check that out. I have a lot of Renton Arb Studios and Peter Pan the Vampire shirts on there. And um, I think that's all for now. Uh, I've got a big day ahead of me today. Going to go see some monster trucks, sit in the bleachers, social distancing from other people, but me and my kids will be wearing masks, all that fun stuff. So they're excited, really excited about seeing monster trucks today. So that's all I got for you today. Goodbye.